All right, let's see how you did. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to distribute uh, out your parentheses. So you need to distribute that 2 into each term in the parentheses and distribute that 3x into each term in the parentheses. When you do that, you get 2x squared minus 2 times 9 is negative 18. Plus the 3x times the x is just going to give you a 3x squared. And the 3x times the 1 is just going to give you a 3x. Now, now you look for like terms. And it looks to me like there are only two terms that are alike. The x squared. There's no other term with just an x in it to be a like term with a 3x. There's no other uh, constants that you can add together. So the only like terms you need to combine in this case are the 2x squared and the 3x squared. Now to do this, all we have to do is look at the two coefficients on those like terms. The 2 and the 3 are going to add to 5. So you, when you combine these two like terms, you're going to end up with a 5x squared. Everything else you can just cancel, or you can just uh, copy down. 3x, just going to copy down. And the negative 18, just going to copy down. So there's your answer. There we go, good work. Uh, we're going to talk a lot more about polynomials in the coming videos. Uh, in the next one, we're going to talk about multiplying polynomials. And then we're going to talk about factoring polynomials after that. I'll see you there.